Good morning gamers, it's update day. Minecraft 1.17.1, I've updated the world. What does that mean? <laughs> it's a small update, it basically means nothing. Please smash like for updating the world though, it definitely was not easy. So the wheat farm that we built last episode is still growing. I haven't been able to harvest it yet. So my initial plan for today's episode was enchanting. We were gonna set up an enchanting setup inside of the tower over at Grimm, and then finish up the outside of Grimm. It was gonna be really good. Oh yeah, also look how Grimm is growing up so quickly. When we were away, it got so old now. Look at the front roof, it's so different. I was going to do enchanting and finishing up the build today, but then I realized something. Uh, to enchant the right way, we're gonna need bookshelves, and for bookshelves, we're gonna need leather, and... Leather. Aha. Uh -huh. We don't have any. Well, well actually, actually, uh, I stand corrected. We actually have one piece of leather, which is pretty cool, but it's nothing like the 45 total that we would need. So instead, today, we're gonna continue working on food. While we wait for this farm to fully grow up so we can harvest it and replant it, we're embarking on a journey. But actually, we've already left on this journey. Today, we're continuing the food farm project. Sweet berries, we've had you for so long. I hate you so much, but you've done us well. But today is the final straw. We don't need sweet berries after today's episode or after next episode, one of them. So I was looking around for a good spot for this build. I have a really cool idea for the build. Hopefully I can pull it off. Uh, if I can, it's gonna look really cool and I want it to be seen. Uh, in terms of spots where, I, where it could be seen, I was thinking way down over there, or maybe right here. Now we're gonna have cow crushers inside of this thing, which means I want them to be loaded in, which means this spot right here. I think this is the best spot. But how many blocks do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. We might be able to make it work. I think we can work with that. The land has to go. It's in the way. I'm gonna flatten it and then make it a little bit bigger. I love the trees so much, actually. You might not even believe it, but I really do. They're also in the way, though. They have to go. Okay, it's a start. Maybe it will work. So I have a really cool idea for today's build. So ever since these things were added to the game, I've always thought teeth. Like teeth. Like these are literally the, the most perfect teeth in the world. For today's build, we're going to need pointed dripstone. But problem, I only have one piece of pointed dripstone. So what we're going to do to get around that, set up a small pointed dripstone farm right over here. It's not going to be here forever. Uh, probably just for today's episode. I think all we need to do is put water above it. I'm going to put a water source above that one too, just in case. Uh, but then pointed dripstone should slowly grow on this block right there. Then I can walk over to it and just harvest it every once in a while. I think I'm going to need probably like, maybe like 12 pointed dripstone total. I'm not really going to need a lot, but I'm going to need more than one. I was also inspired by that tree monster thing Pearl Lesson made on Hermitcraft. The thing is like amazing looking, like it's insane. So uh, we're going to set up, of course, a Sphinx for the cow farms. Uh, what we're going to do is go like five blocks off of the ground. I think that's probably a good placement and start by doing a five block long section. I hope this land is going to work here. We might have to terraform it, um, but we'll start with this. I'm thinking five block long section because we'll have a, like a tooth right there and a tooth right there. Then we'll have three more on the top part of the mouth. It'll look pretty cool. Uh, so five block long section. Uh, we're gonna need deep slate for today's build. This is all the deep slate that I have. I should probably go back to the mines at some point. We're also gonna need some coal blocks. A eh, 38. Mm, hopefully I'll need like 20. I thought I had way more than that. We're gonna need pointed drips. I'm working on that. We're gonna need some tough. I have that. And I hate to say it. I really do. Oh, it's not even in here. Oh, no. I hate this. I don't like this. I don't like... I don't like this. But we're going to need, uh, you know, I could substitute it for something else. Never mind. Never mind. I won't do that. All right. So disclaimer, I'm kind of winging it here. We're going to try and make a face. Uh, hopefully it's going to turn out looking like a face. If it doesn't turn out looking like a face, we'll take it down and we'll try again. And we'll keep trying until we get it right. Uh, but we're going to try and make a face. So uh, what we're going to do is have teeth on the bottom. We're going to have one right there. And then one over there next to that dirt piece. Then we're gonna have teeth on the top. I think to make this thing look a little bit better, uh, what we're gonna wanna do is probably pop the top part out. Now, whenever you're working on any kind of face, I highly recommend looking at like a skull or a face of whatever you're trying to make uh, on like your second monitor. Or I mean, if you're not too monitor gang, then just like look at a picture of a face that you're trying to create before you actually try and do this. If you don't do it, <laughs> it's probably not going to go very well. I, I, just a recommendation, speaking from personal experience here. So uh, here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna do eyes that are two by two. I think that'll look good. Uh, we'll put a coal block for like the pupil and then white blocks around it. Uh, same with the other one. Hopefully I've created a shape uh, that's gonna work. <laughs> you can't really see it from here. I think we're gonna have to add a viewing spot so we can look at the build every once in a while. Uh, so like this spot right here, this is like the only spot I can see it from. Mm, yeah, so far, ignoring all of the dirt other than the eyes, 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, so good, I think. I hope. We're getting there. We're getting so close now. This is exactly why we're not using sweet berries anymore. So if we're going to end up having the eyes right here, I think what we're going to want to do to make the shape look really good is staircases. Cobble deep slate staircases in here to keep like a circle around the eyes. I think that'll look pretty cool. Uh, so we'll do a staircase in that corner and uh, that corner down there and then in the corner over here. So right there. Uh, we'll do the same thing on the other eye. Staircases in the corner. Bend that around and then in here um, in between the eyes. I think we would probably just get flat in here. This is going to be like the nose bit. Uh, then we have like the eyes, mm -hmm. uh, the eyes in between the eyes. So then probably over here, I, I think what we want to do is like pop this back in a little bit more, right? I'm trying to think about how a face would work. Uh, and we're going to have staircases here, which means we need a solid block behind the staircases. Uh, okay, then maybe over the eyes, we like pop up even more. Um, maybe not there though. That will make the head really square. Yeah, maybe like that. It's trial and error. Okay, I'll do the same thing on the other side. Symmetry. And then maybe we just fill that in. That's like the top of the head right there. And then what we could do is like pop this up and, and go straight back like that probably uh, to, to finish off the top of the head. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think that's good. Over here in the corner, I think what we'll do is we'll just have that go like right back. I think we got it. I think we got it. And now down here on the lower part, like where the mouth is, um, uh, that's like the cheekbone. So maybe that pops back like that. Uh, so that would go like straight back. We could pop another section out on the side up there maybe or just keep it flat. Keeping it flat might look good. And then back here. So I think we should do this. Uh, we should have that go right there. That should stay flat. And then we pop it out a little further back to make the jawline like really sharp looking. Oh yeah, I can't remember if I said we're making Sphinx cow right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really, really creepy looking. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Sphinx cow for sure. Definitely. Like the shaping on that side. I definitely should have done the other side too. But I think that's looking good. Let's try to see if we can see it from like over here. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, definitely really disturbing looking. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that is Sphinx Cow. Definitely. But I'm running out of Deep Slate. I have 49 left, which means it's back to the Deep Slate mine for me. Now, uh, today's build is going to be a, a Sphinx Cow. Cows are usually, like, brown and white, spotted. If we were to try and do that, I would probably have to use, like, terracotta, uh, maybe concrete. I, and I, I don't really have that stuff. And unfortunately, for some reason, there's no such thing as a concrete stair or a concrete slab. Since those things don't exist, uh, we don't have as many options when we use those things. So I think what we're going to do instead, to make it look a little bit better, build the cow sphinx out of brimstone, and then it'll look good. And then we have the staircases and everything, and it just looks like some kind of old stone statue. Now that I think about it too, actually, ooh. Oh, yeah, 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 now that I think about it, actually, because we're using the same block as the wheat farm, it's going to match, like, perfectly. I didn't even think about that. This game definitely should have concrete slabs and staircases though, right? Like, absolutely. Nine more stacks. Nine more stacks of deep slate, about. And not a single diamond. Not even a deep slate one. Not even one. How could they? Also, do I have to like uh, put this here? It's not happening. Maybe I'll put that there and then it'll drip and get longer. Maybe that's how it works. I can't remember. So the big question with this face is, uh, do the sides of it pop out? Like right now, it's like really flat looking. It still looks really disturbing. I think it's gonna look better once we have the mouth in and the actual eyes, but like, like it's really flat over there. I feel like we should pop it out one more uh, layer on, on both sides. And then honestly, like for the shape of the face, other than the whole like empty faceless staring into your soul thing. Mm-hmm, yeah, I think that's pretty good. You know what else is pretty good? this farm the farm is finally basically fully ready to go so we're gonna go for it we hit the lever the water goes out and look at it look at it it's 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 perfect it's perfect now i have to replant the whole thing one harvest one harvest was all that it needed to have way more than enough seeds to replant a stack and 49 more extra yeah yeah that's pretty good so i made some adjustments to the head uh-huh yep that's the shape that's definitely the shape i popped the sides out that looks a whole lot better still really disturbing to look at though all right so we have the head but uh right now it's floating and next we need to work on the body so the shape we're going here is sphinx which means we have the head sitting up here like a little bit higher than the body then we have like a long body and legs on the side uh for the length of the body and just the body in general first i think what we're going to want to do is start with with a box when you're working with any shape that is way more complex if you can break it down into more simple ones so like rectangles circles you know things like that it's going to make your life so much easier so what we're going to do here is set up a, a box first a rectangle figure out if the length is 
this right. Uh, then we're going to try and put the legs on the box. And then finally, at the end, we're going to try and reshape the box a little bit. Um, I don't need to get like crazy with the shaping here, but we'll reshape it a little bit and get it a little bit more like real looking. Now for the length of the body, uh, right off the bat, whatever I did there, I, I didn't count, but I think that's probably going to be a pretty good length. Like th that's pretty solid, like in proportion to the head. Uh, maybe we could do like a little bit longer. See, the plan here is to have the cow farms inside of this building here. So, uh, yeah, maybe what we want to do is make it just like a little bit longer, like three, four blocks longer. Take out these trees, too. We'll raise the land up in the end, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, like three or four more blocks, and then that should be good. Crazy Cow Sphinx. Yes, yes, Crazy Cow Sphinx for sure. Three blocks longer was definitely the trick. That's what I did there. And then I started bringing this box down to the ground. Now that the box is at the ground, I think we can start actually working with the shape. So the front legs on the Sphinx. Ah, yes, the front legs. So <laughs> I'm honestly most nervous for this part. If the legs are off, uh, I think it's going to ruin like everything. And it's going to look really, really bad. So hopefully we get this right. Front legs here. Is that a leg? I mean, I feel like it kind of looks like a leg, right? Or it kind of would look like a leg. And then down here, probably curve this straight down to the ground. Uh, maybe take this out so we don't have any like sharp angles. I feel like a round angle is going to be a little bit better. Uh, then maybe what we do on the outside of the leg, ho hopefully here, is something like that. To kind of like pop it out a little bit more. Uh, it looks a little weird from here. Here's what I think we do. We copy the leg shape, exactly, on the other side of the build. So over here, and then maybe the leg should maybe like go in a little bit too, uh, like kind of like towards the head. So something like that, maybe just one block for now. Then we step back and take a look. Hmm. I mean, I can't tell. Um, if we do that pop out shape on the side, definitely should do it on the inside too, for sure. I think it might be good. Maybe it should be like one taller. Maybe like one taller would be good in relation to the head. I think that's good. I mean, from over here, it doesn't look too bad. Oh yeah, I think it should be one taller. Now this is the tricky part here because uh, the legs, uh, we don't have very much more room. Like I can't move it up anymore. Like literally, I, I don't think I can. So <laughs> hopefully this is gonna work. This is gonna have to work. I guess the good thing here is uh, once we get the front leg down, all we do is the back leg, same thing, a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe, maybe that's a good front leg. Uh, we could add like a little bit more detail with staircases or something like that. Maybe even flatten it a little bit. Might look better. But yeah, I, I think that's what we're going to go with for a leg shape for the front one. Now we need to do the back one. Dripstone. Are you ever going to grow? Like, what? I, I thought that's how it worked. Um, here, let's do this. Oh, <gasps> oh. <gasps> It has been growing. It has been growing. It's been dripping down onto the ground and growing right there. Oh, it, ha it has been working. And I lost that other piece of dripstone that I just took out. Uh, maybe it's in the water. I, I hope it's in the water, but it has been working. It's been working on the ground all along. I wasn't patient enough. Dripstone, I'm so sorry. I hope you could please forgive me. I'm so sorry about that. It works. It works. It's glorious, and it works. All we need to do is raise the ground up right there so I can see what's happening and have it drift down onto the ground right there. And, and then it'll grow up from the ground, I guess. I thought it would get longer down here, too. Uh-huh. But it works. It works. So the back leg of the Sphinx. Uh, the front one ends right there. I think what we should do with a back leg is have it go, like, almost all the way to the top of the body. So maybe, like, honestly, one higher, like, right here. And then what we're going to do is have it pop past the back a little bit. And then to the front, too. Uh, this time, I think the leg is going to be way bigger, though. We'll do, like, five. And, and then basically the same shape. I'll curve it around and have it go straight down. Uh, make it maybe pop out one more block, too. Uh, right there. I think that'll be good. Gonna have to fill the ground in, like, raise it up. Take even more trees out. I didn't finish. And I found a lake down here. Oh, there's a lake in there. Oh, and on the back foot. I think I'm going to make it taller, too. So... It's going to sit like three blocks up off of the ground instead of just the one. And also, I think on the front one, it needs to sit up higher too. So I'm going to make that go like two blocks right there. Um, and that one's going to pop out a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe this one should too. So I've got it. The replacement white block is going to be white concrete. White concrete is going to be way better than that other stuff would have ever been. I've been working on the build a little bit more. I think the head shapement is looking really good. The leg shapement too. I'm pretty happy with it. See, we'll probably be mainly looking at the build from spots like down here. And you actually can't even really see the legs like at all from down here. So I don't want to spend very much more time on them. And I also think once we get the rest of the build done, the legs will blend in a little bit more. Now I've been working on the head shape. Uh, I've been looking at it from over here. I think it's an okay shape. The jaw is definitely a strong jaw for sure. 
But I mean, same thing. We'll mainly be looking at the build from the front, so I don't think it matters too much. Now it's time for the eyes. So we're gonna do one eye right there. Uh, I think we're gonna do one eye maybe, maybe right there. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's gonna be crazy for sure. And then we do white concrete everywhere else. We're gonna leave it concrete potter. I think it's gonna look a little bit better. Uh, then we're gonna do the mouth down here. I'm still waiting for the pointed drip zone to grow, but behind the pointed drip zone, we're gonna do even more coal blocks. Hopefully I'm gonna have enough coal blocks. I think I will. We're gonna fill the coal blocks in like that. Uh, we're gonna go even higher uh, up like that. And then actually, I'm not gonna have enough coal blocks. I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna have to line the top right there. So I'm gonna have to take that out too. Ah, oh, man. Front of the build is missing something though. Completely realized uh, that I was completely forgetting. The staircases are on the eye, so I have to do that. And then I realized uh, staircases would be really good in here too. So check this out. Staircase like that, staircase like that. And then I'm gonna put more coal blocks back there. So I'm gonna use like most of my coal blocks up. But right there, this is gonna make the perfect nose. I figured I could maybe even come back in here with a couple more staircases right there to shape that up a little bit more. I'm gonna have to make more staircases, but yeah, that would work. And then definitely around the eyes still, even more staircases. <gasps> it grew, it grew, it got longer right there. That's amazing. We need eight point to drip zone total. So one, two, three. Uh, we're, we're almost halfway there. This stuff grows so slow. We need to make like a big farm soon. In between cuts, I also went back down to the mines because I needed even more deep slate. I got like eight more stacks of this stuff and no more diamonds still. Okay, so we're gonna end up needing coal back there and coal back there. That's gonna change that a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just go with it. Once we have the teeth in, it might not be that big of a deal, but there we go. We end up with something like that from the inside. And then I'm forgetting something. So the eye's mouth, that's pretty good. But there is one final thing. Uh, cows have horns. These horns are usually uh, usually gray looking. And I think I finally figured it out. The tough block. I didn't know what to do with it for so long. This is what it's meant for. This is exactly it. Horns for cows. Definitely. 100%. That's what tough has always been meant for in this update. There we go. There's the answer. Now, uh, before we take a look, let's talk about the body a little bit. Body's gonna be a little bit interesting. I do want to save the boxy shape a little bit. Like, I don't wanna cut it in at all. The more that I cut the shape in, the more space that I lose, obviously, which is not good. I need to save room for cow crushers in here, so I can't really cut it in. I'm thinking that we could probably end up just leaving a lot of the boxy shape in here. Maybe uh, curve it a little bit in here, in the back area, and then on the back, uh, I figured maybe I make like like an arch or something, almost like a tail. I'm not too sure where the back of the Sphinx is. And actually, you know, now that I think about it, I don't think anyone has ever actually seen the back of the Sphinx. So I guess it doesn't even really matter. Definitely gonna wanna curve the build up a little bit more though on the top. I think that'll look really good. So maybe we curve it up once and then, and then honestly, maybe one more time and then we'll have it like that. I think that'll help the shape. Maybe definitely shave off some of these sharp corners like back there, that would look a little bit weird. Maybe even like curve it out a little bit more. That might look nice too. And yeah, overall, just really trying to fill things in here. I think the most important part of this build by far is gonna be the head because that's where we're gonna see the most and it's gonna draw the most attention. So as long as the head is right, I feel like we could almost do almost anything else with the body here and it'll look okay. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm thinking some kind of big window on this spot somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to fill this in and, and yeah, big window in there. I think it'll be cool. And also, and I don't know how this is gonna actually end up looking, uh, but maybe some slabs in there to help like curve the mouth around. I could even, if I wanted to, like push the coal blocks back a little bit more. I don't know if I need you, but I could. Okay, so big moment of truth. How does the face look? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 crazy for sure. Crazy, definitely. Um, one of the horns needs to be longer than one on the left. <laughs> I need more teeth in there. Uh huh. Yep, yep. That's 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 what we were going for. Uh, yeah, yeah. That worked out. Uh, maybe no window in there though. Maybe just like an accent color. After all, uh, yeah, yeah. That's definitely it. Um, I wonder if I could fix that thing with the nose there though. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, that's it. Oh, uh, it's coming along. It's coming along so nicely. I just made an adjustment to the mouth, and I think it's gonna make it look so much better. But accent block in here, gonna have to go back down to the mines. I don't know even know if we should be doing this in here, uh, but maybe tough. Like, it'll bring it in from the top of the build and, and make this look a little bit more interesting. And I figured maybe what I could do, uh, actually, wrong spot. I could pop this out a little bit more. We can put it right here. Uh, we do, like, a line of that right there, and then that, and then, yeah. Like, like a little bit of tough showing through. I don't know if it's gonna actually work or like look really good. Maybe I could make it a circle. I could move it up one more. Oh, yeah, yeah, a circle, yeah, yeah. Oh no, oh no, no. The second piece of armor today from the sweet berry bushes? Really? We're just back down to the pants. That's not good. Is there any way to speed this up? <laughs> I can tell this is uh, what's gonna take the most time. Uh, oh boy. 
Another thing that might actually be kind of cool uh, in there in the middle, uh, because it does a sphinx, is maybe like like a block of gold or, or even some kind of light block, maybe. But there we go. There we go. I fixed it. All I had to do... I'll get that in a second. All I had to do up here, super simple, was two things. Uh, first thing, just remove the coal block from the lower part of the nose. There's coal blocks back there. Kind of does the job. It's kind of perfect. Uh, second thing, move this all back so it has a little bit more depth. I put staircases in there to round the shape. We're going to have a second point to drip some right there eventually. Then we're going to do uh, two tall ones coming down from the top right in here. And then we're going to have the nose out front. We're just going to look good. And, and everything looks perfect. However, there's one thing that I would like to try on the build. I don't know how well it's going to work out. But uh, maybe uh, what I could do is smelt up deep slate and mix it in in here to get a little bit of variation because otherwise it's all going to just be like like the normal cobble deep slate, which is fine. It does technically work, but I think maybe like uh, mixing in a little bit of this stuff, like just just a small amount, uh, might make it look a little bit more interesting. Like it has like some details and cracks on it. I don't know how much I could really do it on the whole build. If I go like too overkill, it's going to make it look a little bit weird. I think the good thing about the build is how like consistent it is. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Also, uh, I keep forgetting to say, but the door, I'm going to leave a door in here somewhere, probably like right here, three wide. And I'm actually just going to leave it open. It's just going to be an arch. Maybe this is where I could put the arch window instead, I was thinking. Um, but yeah, just like a big open door right here so I can just walk right in. And then we're going to put the cow farms maybe like in a line back here, I was thinking now. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'm going to try and get some deep slate in here too. Uh, put it in different directions, making like some cracks on the build. I think it's going to look good. And it's going to finish up pretty much everything else on the build. All of that does, unfortunately, mean though that I might. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. I, I might have to go back down to the mines one last time to get even more deep slate. Also, I'm going to have to wait around for a while. Probably end up just AFKing is what I'll do. Uh, I'm going to have to wait around, though, for all of this stuff to finish. In total, I'm going to need eight pointed dripstone. Uh, right now, I have three. I'm fine with using those ones. I, I put the one on the build. But yeah, three total right now. Need eight. Yep. <laughs> going to have to wait that one out for a little while, too. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Like, maybe it just magically, like, grows really quick, which would be amazing. It can grow on the ground or grow taller. Um, it just take like a long time. Definitely should have set that one up earlier. Let's see though. Uh, big door like that. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, maybe though. Maybe what we want to do in here to spice it up a little bit is some bricks or maybe some tiles. I think the tiles are going to be really dark, so it's going to be a lot of contrast. That's going to blend in a little bit more. Let's go with the high contrast one. We do some tiles going up and make an arch over there, and then I could do the same thing on the other side and then put the glass panes on the inside. I thought about a window on the back of the build, but then I decided no. <gasps> it happened. It, it actually happened. It, it actually happened. Finally. It's been hours. I, I've completely lost my head. It's been so long. I've been waiting for like ever. And it happened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight is in the mouth. It happened. I, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. It actually happened. Eight point to dripstone. Finally, I don't even know how long it's been. It's been a long time, hours at least. I was editing other videos while I was waiting. It was like actually like painful. <laughs> when I started waiting, I thought it would be fun to terraform. So I did that for a little while. I terraformed over here. I terraformed out front of the build. I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, I, I did a lot of terraforming and then I ended up having to wait and wait and wait. And then this happened and then I had to wait even more. But it happened. It, it finally happened, it, and it's here. That's all that matters. So here's my terraforming out front. It, it's nice terraforming, but even more nice for sure. I can't say it enough times. It happened. It actually happened, and we can finish the build now for once and for all. We can actually do this. So we're going to do three teeth in here. Uh, nope. We're gonna do three teeth in here on the top. The top teeth are big teeth. The bottom teeth are small teeth, just like that. I uh, think we're gonna take this down. Okay, okay, yes, nice terraforming, very cool. Secret light, shh. Comment of the day. There are a lot of pages in this book. I really need to get a new one. Hey, there it is. Look, it's a link, AK Styles. Epic gamer, epic meme, I had to. See, I thought wrapping up today's video with this meme right here was perfectly fitting because this is how I feel. That was me at the top. Before I started waiting for the pointed dripstone, that's me at the bottom now. After waiting for all of the pointed dripstone. It's been so long. And the memes are beautiful. Please, keep making them. Uh, they, they make my day. They're, they're amazing. Alright, so the terraforming, it kind of like trickles down here. We have to do more terraforming for sure. I'm thinking the path will maybe cut up here behind those trees. I think that could be kind of cool. 
Oh, but the crazy cow sphinx. <laughs> of course. Oh, of course, the thing you've all been waiting for. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There are more visitors over here. Okay. Give me just a... Just a second. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot to say, uh, the rest of my armor broke. I It was a patrol. I, I think it was the patrol. It was either the patrol or the sweet berry bushes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. We're not like that. We're friends. No, 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 no. We're friends. I said we're friends. I need new armor. Really bad. All right. Uh, just one hit really quick. Uh, there we go. We go back in here. Too slow, buddies. Way too slow. Do it again. Hey, out of the house. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, no, you don't. I think this is the last one. I don't know where the banner one is, and I don't care. They're gone. Look at this thing, by the way. It's fully ready to go. It looks so good. Oh, but of course, the crazy cow sphinx. The moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy cow sphinx. Um, <laughs> it's beautiful. It's glorious. And it's perfect. Truly majestic perfection. That's what it is. Perfection. And not only is it perfection, but it's our ticket away from sweet berries. In the next episode, we're going to fill that thing with some cow crushers, and then we're going to be in Food City, and it's going to be amazing. Thank you all for watching today's episode. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. My patrons, Ground Crazy Maid, Lord Zenera, and Archangel, thank you all so much for the support. It's been me, your boy, No Hat. I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.